algorithms course by Stanford University, or rather algorithm specialization. This is one of those courses that are doing pretty well on Coursera. Over 100k students already took this specialization. There are over 5k reviews and a general rating of 4.8 out of 5. I have to say, these numbers are already a great motivation to enroll. But is it really that good? My name is Daniel and here is what we are going to talk about today. Stanford's Algorithms course on Coursera. Course overview, curriculum, pricing and certification, career opportunities, student reviews. And as always, I will let you know what I personally think about this course and also leave all links to it in the description down below. Let's start! As technology keeps evolving, it's smart to keep up with the times. Today lots of people are getting into IT because it's in demand. And when we talk about the top jobs in IT, we cannot forget about software development. And in software development, it's essential to understand data structures and algorithms really well. No doubt, data structures and algorithms, or DSA, is one of the most important skills that all top tech companies look for in any software engineer or developer. All the big tech companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon and Meta hire programmers and developers who know a lot about algorithms and data structures. Moreover, they also like to ask questions about DSA-related topics in their tech interviews. And courses like this one are designed to prepare you for that. So what is it about? Guys, first and foremost, this course isn't easy. Moreover, it's pretty close to what they teach you on campus at Stanford. And it doesn't hold your hand. At the same time, it focuses more on helping you understand the main ideas rather than getting into all the details and math. When you finish this course, you will be in a great position to do really well in technical interviews. You will be able to have meaningful conversations about algorithms with other programmers and computer experts. This course teaches you nearly all the important methods in the field of designing and studying algorithms and how to put them into action very quickly. Course Instructor Now let me say a few words about the Course Instructor. Tim Ruffgarden teaches at Stanford University, one of the oldest and most prestigious universities in the United States. He is a professor of computer science and he also knows a lot about management science and engineering. He taught many students and wrote a lot about algorithms and how they are used. His research got him numerous prestigious awards. And honestly, I would be happy to take a course taught by a professional like this. As I told earlier, it's important to keep one thing in mind. This is not a course for beginners. And you have to meet certain requirements to enroll. You should be able to write code in at least one programming language, such as C, Java or Python. You should have some understanding of proofs, like how to prove things using methods such as induction and contradiction. You should also have a basic knowledge about discrete probability, like figuring out the chances of getting a full house in poker. At Stanford University students who are in their second, third or fourth year of studying computer science often take a similar version of this course. That's why folks, be aware of the knowledge level you will meet. Curriculum Alright, and now let's see what kind of content is included in this course. In fact, guys, this specialization consists of four separate courses. They are Divide and Conquer, Sorting and Searching, and randomized algorithms, graph search, shortest path, and data structures, greedy algorithms, minimum spanning trees, and dynamic programming. And finally, shortest path revisited, NP complete problems, and what to do about them. Everything in this course is designed to help you learn and get really good at the basics of algorithms. You will achieve that by doing different kinds of tests. Every week there is a quiz with multiple choice questions to check how well you understand the main ideas. You will also have programming assignments each week, where you put into practice one of the algorithms you have learned. In class, using a programming language you like. And when you finish the course, there is a final exam with multiple choice questions too. And my friends, if you have been with this channel for a while, you know how much I like the practical side of learning. And it looks like this course offers a lot of that. The course creators expect you to spend two months to complete it. That's provided you spend 10 hours a week learning. 
However, considering the level of difficulty this course offers, I think it might take some more time for students to get through it. And that's okay. There are no strict timeframes, so you can take it at your own speed and no worry about it at all. Pricing and certification. Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way. Make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like the content I make. That's all. Okay, that sounds good, but how much do you have to pay? Well, this course of course isn't free. And I think courses of this level really cannot be free. At least I don't know about any free courses of this level. That's why in order to enroll, you have to buy a Coursera Plus subscription. The nice part is that this subscription also lets you take many other courses and certification programs. Alright, the next question you may ask. Daniel, what about getting a certificate? Once you successfully finish all four courses and projects included in them, you will receive two certificates. One from Coursera and the second one from Stanford University. And I think the certificate from Stanford University is more valuable here. You can show off both of them on your LinkedIn profile or add them to your resume. Career opportunities That's a common question many of my subscribers ask. Daniel, will this course help me find a job? I'm gonna give you three seconds. And it's always a tricky question. But in this case, you know, I would rather say yes. The algorithm specialization from Stanford University will definitely give your resume a good boost. But let's be real, I wouldn't expect that it will automatically make you land a high paying position. This is a four course specialization made to introduce you to algorithms. I would say you will need some more learning and experience to get a position. And you definitely will have to do more homework on your own. So to sum up, Stanford certificate might give you an advantage over other candidates. Student reviews. And now let's see what other students say about Stanford's algorithms course. First of all, I would like to say that all four courses in this program are rated 4.8 out of 5. That's an impressively high rating compared with other courses on Coursera. For example, this student gives it 5 stars saying, challenging but does a great job of presenting some important concepts at a high level and showing where to continue learning. And this 4 star review says, hard as expected, yet challenging and with a good teacher made me feel like a student again. Sometimes the background in statistics and probability played against me. It should be recommended to have some background on those subjects before starting the course. And I have seen only a few reviews that give this course less than 4 stars. Here is some criticism people offer. To be honest, maybe it's because of my first language is not English, I felt frustrated from time to time. That doesn't mean the material wasn't good. What I learned from this course is quite amazing. The explanation sometimes is just obscured. I know even the idea behind the algorithm or analysis aren't easy to understand. But what I feel is the professor assume you know everything he's talking about and the whole sentence become very long. Long enough to let student cannot focus on the idea itself. Well, like I said earlier in this video, guys, this course isn't easy. And it's definitely not designed for beginners. So be mentally prepared for it. It's also likely you will have to look up some extra materials if you don't have sufficient background in computer science and math. Alright, finally. Now the final question. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Do I think this course is worth taking today? And my answer is yes. Definitely yes. Taking a Stanford course is a great opportunity at any time, in my opinion. The information it provides isn't outdated and it offers some solid knowledge and skills. Moreover, it gives you that valuable Stanford certificate. The certificate from one of the best and most famous universities in the world. Alright, fellow developers, that's it. I left all links in the description below. Feel free to check them out, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, until next time.